Mick Devlin is a former Christian brother. He says more needs to be known about the foster children who were sent to Nudgee College in the early 1990s. Was it a court order? Was it formal? Was, was there a, a documentation? And we need to know. He wants an official inquiry. We need an external inquiry, not one run by the Christian Brothers or somebody they appoint, but a, an independent investigation. Stephen McLaughlin was the headmaster of St Joseph's Nudgee College from 1988 to 1993. The ABC has revealed Crown prosecutors dropped a serious child sex abuse case against him nearly 20 years ago because they deemed there was no reasonable prospect of conviction. This year, McLaughlin was convicted of indecently dealing with a 12-year-old boy he'd been babysitting in 2015. McLaughlin's lawyers say he denies the allegations and is preparing to appeal the conviction. But McLaughlin was also entrusted by a Queensland government department to care for vulnerable foster children in the 1990s, despite never going through a formal assessment process. In 1996, the former principal wrote... He became my foster child, one of more than 40 children with similar histories. I think having no uh, formal approval process in place for a foster carer is a recipe for disaster. Queensland's Department of Children says it's been unable to find any record of him being assessed as a foster carer. But the department did have an established relationship with Brother McLaughlin as a direct result of his role as principal at Nudgee College and assigned him some caring responsibilities. There are dots to be joined, and part of that is a government responsibility to dig into their archives. And if and we haven't done it yet, we need to do it. Hetty Johnston wants a proper inquiry into other similar arrangements. McLaughlin's lawyers say the former Christian brother was a temporary on-site foster care nominee for some students in a specific program for approximately three months. They say at no time did any student from the program make any allegations of wrongdoing against him. And McLaughlin did not select these students for the program or have anything to do with their daily life or care. Rory Callanan, ABC News, Brisbane.